Hi everyone, this is Healthy Living Talks with Ofe. Thank you to everyone that has been engaging with this YouTube channel. Please like, share and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more health information in a simplified way. As a practicing licensed pharmacist, on this YouTube channel, I demystify various health information in simple ways you can understand it, improve your health and the quality of your life. Today, I will be talking about handling recurrent boils. So, oftentimes in practice, I have heard and seen people say, oh, I always have boils. And these have even made them start to abuse antibiotics. So today, I will be discussing what you need to know about boils and if you usually have it, what you can do to prevent them. The first thing to understand is that boil is an infection of your hair follicle. That part where your hair is coming out from, if that place gets infected, you can have boil. Now, there are also underlining conditions or environmental factors that make some people have boil easily. The first thing is that if you live in, a, in an area with poor hygiene, oh, you can easily come down with boil. Also, for people living in very humid and hot climate, like we do in Nigeria, are easily exposed to having boil. That's why people that sweat a lot also have the risk of coming down with recurrent boils. Like I said earlier, there are also underlying conditions that can also predispose a person to boil. Some very young people can also have boil, very common in very young. That's why you see children usually come down with boils often. Also the elderly can also come down with boil. The other thing is that for people that are immunocompromised, what I mean by immunocompromised is um, the function of the immune system is optimum, like you see in HIV patients or people on chemotherapy. So such people can easily come down with recurrent boils. Also for people that are obese or living with diabetes, they can easily come down with boil. So here are a few things that can help you to handle and or prevent recurrent boils. The first thing is then maintain a high level of hygiene and start by washing your hands. Children are not too small to learn how to wash their hands. Even babies, if you feel that you can't wash their hands or bathe them every time, then you can use wipes to clean their hands. The other thing to know is that because the bacteria that causes boil can stay in the nose, avoid touching your face, touching your nose, and then touching other parts of your body. This also applies to the anal area. The second thing is that maintain a healthy weight. Remember I said being obese predisposes you to having boils. And if you're diabetic, please ensure that your blood sugar level is properly controlled. If you sweat a lot, make sure you bathe in good time so that you reduce the risk of your hair follicle becoming infected and then you come down with boil. When you have boil, hot compress and antibiotics, can be very effective. But if you've been having them recurrently, my professional advice to you is to get a culture test done so that they can know exactly what antibiotic they can give you. Because oftentimes, many people have abused antibiotics. They become resistant to it. The antibiotic is not working for them. So when you do a culture test and sensitivity test, they can know exactly what antibiotic will be good for you so that you can reduce your risk of always having recurrent boils. If you would like to speak to a pharmacist to review any of your medication, please click the link in the description box below or call the number on your screen. I trust this information has been helpful. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more health information in a simplified way. Till I see you again, remember Google is your friend, but I am your professional. Cheers!